beautiful sounds there. You can see these performers in Florentine Opera's Trouble in Tahiti. The show opens next weekend. Today on Arts Avenue, we have Jana Ernst joining us. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about this. I know this uh, first, the first time it's ever was performed was about 70 years ago. Yes, yeah, so Bernstein compo well, started to compose this actually on his honeymoon. And wow. it's a sad story yeah. because it's about a couple that argue. <laughs> um, so uh, it's got great music though. It's only about 40 minutes long. So the Baumgartner Studio Artist Showcase will be an evening where we start with Trouble in Tahiti. After intermission you'll hear some of the greatest opera hits you know, it'll be one of those things where you'll take the program and you'll go, I have no idea what any of this is. And then you start to hear it and you're like, oh yeah, I know that. So, yeah. so it's a great evening for anybody that's maybe a little on the fence about opera. You get English, it's not too long. Okay. Um, some fun hits on the second half. Um, and yeah, it, it, it'll be just a really lovely night, a fun night for everybody. So kind mm -hmm. of a short... Um, opera, yeah. but mm -hmm. you said it's going to be good for people who are on the fence. They're not sure if they like opera. What do yeah. you hope people walk away from, from this experience, if they've never even been to an opera oh, before? I hope people, oh my gosh, I hope people walk away going, that was such beautiful music. I can totally relate to these people, which we all can. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, relationships are hard. And back in the 50s, when Bernstein wrote this, it was not, it was taboo to talk about problems at home, you know? So this actually wasn't really well received by the public. Oh. It was very uncomfortable for people. Um, maybe in some ways it's still uncomfortable, but uh, you know, it's something we have to deal with on a daily life. And I think that's what art should do. Great art should kind of make us a little uncomfortable at times, yeah. but then also uh, inspire us to be a better person as well. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be reality. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so if it's what I like about the Florentine Opera season that we've got for the next couple of months is you have this uh, February 8th and 9th, this showcase mm -hmm. um, for for people who maybe aren't quite too sure. Now, if you like what you see and you think, oh, I could, I could take a little more of that. Um, in March, March 13th, 15th, and then the next weekend, like 21st, 22nd, we have something called the Tragedy of Carmen, which is not the full-blown Carmen. Um, it's, I, I like to call it the greatest hits of Carmen. Um, so that one will be in French with a little bit bigger orchestra. Again, not as long, but still exciting yeah. and riveting and passionate and all these things. And then if you think to yourself, oh, I got to get more of this. <laughs> in May, at the end of May, we have the full-blown grand opera. We have Macbeth. It is based on the wow. Shakespeare play. You'll have the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra in the pit. It'll be, I mean, it's truly a grand night. So you can kind of ease your way in if you need to. <laughs> well, of course, if you want to see Trouble in Tahiti or Florentine Opera's other shows, we'll have more information on our website, WISN.com. We'll be right back.